welcome back and if you're new I'm Lauren and I'm Amanda and today we're gonna be talking about books to read this summer summer is almost here you guys which is crazy we put together a list of books that we either have read already or we want to read this summer whether you're going to the beach or just to the pool relaxing whatever it might be we think that these would be some great books to just give you that summer vibe so let's get into it I will definitely be reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid so I've been saving this one for summertime this really famous family they have a huge party every year something big happens every year at these parties but this time something tragic happens mm. I did hear that this book does take place in the same world and same time period as the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the six so I think that is so cool I also really like the fact that it takes place in one day in the summer yeah I think that would be a great one you know that last year that was the one on everyone's list for summer reads mm -hmm. so I think it would be a really great one and out of all of Taylor Jenkins read books I feel like that would be the one I most want to read so the first one I have on my list today is Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy I had showed this in one of our book hauls earlier this year and I've been saving it like you said for summertime so I'm so excited to finally read it so this book is about a girl named Mackenzie and she's trying to grow her internet business but her parents are making her get a college degree first Ew. same <laughs> She ends up having to move to this beach town, which I guess is where our setting takes place. So it's going to very much be summer vibes since it's at a beach. And the entire community there is made up of these wealthy trust fund college kids. And she doesn't really like that. Basically, what I think is that she meets some guy. He is a trust fund a kid. He's kind of a bad boy. And they end up forming this friendship, which I'm sure will turn into a relationship. I'm excited to read it. I'm sure there's some secrets being hidden and things like that. I think it's going to be perfect for this. I did just talk about this one in our last book haul. I almost started crying just reading the synopsis. Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. I mean, June is in the title. So I think I need to <laughs> right. read it in June. Basically, there's two people. They have like a week when they were teenagers and they just fell madly in love. They ended up going their separate ways, but they both became writers. And in their books, they kind of send each other messages through their writing, which I think is so adorable. And then they end up meeting each other again years later two writers discovering their second chance at love yeah i love that i think that one's gonna be the best book <laughs> Yeah. for the summer. So the next one I have on this list is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. This one I believe I got last year and I've been waiting and waiting until this summer to read it. I know it was popular last year and the mm -hmm. year before that so I have high hopes for it. I love the cover. That texture of paper bag <laughs> is my favorite. She loves the matte, the matte cover. It's just the feel of it. It's my favorite ever. Yes, I agree. So the story is about a girl named Meredith. She lost her sister 18 months ago and basically she's been kind of just shutting everyone out since and this is the summer she wants to kind of get back out there, start living her life again. So her family has this annual vacation at Martha's Vineyard. The setting is going to be great since it's during the summer. It's going to be at this beautiful vineyard. I believe that there is a big summer wedding that they're having and they have this tradition of playing the game Assassin with the family. Which Love I think that. is so fun. She ends up pairing up with this cute groomsman to play the game and he distracts her and I'm sure she just figures out a way to live her life again. I think it'll be really cute. I really want to read that one. I think by the time that I saw that last year, mm -hmm. it was like October. Right. And I'm like, I'm not gonna read it. And that's when I had bought it like late last year. Yeah. So it's finally the time. I'm excited to read it. Check it out if you're looking for like a summertime cute YA story. We can read it together and then talk about it. I definitely want to read Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This one has been all mm -hmm. over. It is like trending right now. Basically, it's about a girl named Naomi who gets contacted by her twin sister who she hasn't spoken to in years. And her sister is basically telling her that she needs help and she's in deep trouble. Naomi goes to this small town to help her out. Her sister ends up robbing her, taking her car, taking her money, taking everything. And not only that, she leaves Naomi with her 11-year-old niece that she didn't even know she had. Now Naomi is just stuck in this town. She has no money. She has no car. And everybody in this town already hates her twin sister. So she looks exactly like her. This grumpy guy ends up helping her out. I don't think the story itself has anything to do with Summer, but just the cover itself is giving me Summer vibes. So we'll see. So you know it's not going to be a Summer book video without at least one Colleen Hoover and Heartbones is the one to read this summer if you're going to read any. We read this book for the first 
this time last summer and it was just the perfect beach read. This one for me is like one of my top Colleen books as well. So highly recommend if you haven't read this one yet. It's basically about a girl named Bea and she comes from a life of poverty and neglect and she meets this boy named Samson who comes from a life of wealth. They basically find themselves as neighbors during the summer and they end up spending the entire summer together just creating this friendship because they have such an intense bond. After the summer ends they're both separating and going on completely different sides of the country. So basically summer is all they have to kind of just live out everything they can together. I think this is one of Colleen's YA stories but you honestly can't tell it's still so well done. Even though it's a really cute like giddy romance it is Colleen Hoover so you have to know that like something is not what it seems. There's gonna be some kind of twist or big reveal at the end and I just think this one is so so perfect. Definitely pick it up for the summer if you haven't read it yet. I just remember crying and crying at the end of this book and it was so so good. I definitely want to read the entire series of The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I think I want to reread this every year. No I will. <laughs> Not only because I love the story so much but you guys know the show is about to release I think in June. It's just the perfect time to read it. Like if you have not read it yet please read it. It's so good. It's like one of our favorites ever. We read this in middle school and it still has the same hold on us that it did then. They're so short too since they are YA so they go by really fast but they're still just so sweet and fun. It's just a summer staple. It's got to be read during the summer. It's a perfect light reads especially if you're on vacation and you don't want to commit to like a very intense wordy book. These are so perfect. So the last one I have is actually a little bit different because this isn't very summer light vibes. It's more of a thriller and everyone knows it. This is I Know What You Did Last Summer. Like it says summer. But yeah, I have to. This one I feel like it's a classic when it comes to just those thriller horror stories. It's a group of teenagers. They throw this big party during the summer. As they're having fun, there is an incident that occurs and they end up killing someone and trying to cover it up. They are sworn to secrecy until they find out that someone knows what they did and they're threatening them. They basically need to get together to try and outsmart a killer. I'm so excited to read it. It's one that I've heard about for years and it's a pretty short read. I just wanted to include it because a lot of these are very like light romance and fun summer reads and I wanted one that was just a little bit different. So I think this thriller will be perfect to kind of just split the other ones up. These are just some of the books on our summer TBR so I'm sure there's gonna be more that we're gonna see and want to read but overall we're just ready for summer to start so we can get a lot of reading done. I'm ready to tan. I'm ready to tan. I'm ready to go to the beach. So that is going to be it for today's video. Let us know if you have some good summer book recommendations. As always we do put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday so if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!